Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from BU for You Gaming, and today we are back in Grow Song of the Ever Tree. And there was something furry outside that we needed to check out. I do like how it kind of glows around the door here, it's very inviting to go outside. Let's just quickly check out our little gold thingy here. Uh, it doesn't seem to have really anything. Well, okay, there's all of these golds, of course, so there's definitely things we need to check out. Uh, this has been uh, increased now so get one uh, well 10 good nights of sleep and apparently there's gonna be probably 20 or 50 or something and multiple of these and of course we have to learn some stuff there um don't think there's really anything new in here just yet no so let's just head back out we're also definitely gonna go and check out um this world that we planted last time right Ooh, let's see Oh my word, an Everkin! It really is an Everkin, isn't it, darling? I was afraid we'd seen the last of them after the withering overwhelmed the tree. Yet, here we have one cavorting in our garden, no less. But why? That's a good question. Skittish, isn't it? Wouldn't want it to poof away before we learn more. I say, Friar, we simply must find out what the little fellow is doing here. Oh, look at you. That does look really cute. Go talk to the Everkin, Friar. Okay. Well, we did was told that it was kind of a little... Uh, well, it is skittish, but also that we had to be careful and approach it kind of slowly. I don't know if you can even... Can you, like, walk slow in this game? Like... I don't know. We're gonna try. Oh, then you just move away further. Doesn't seem like we can kind of just walk slow or, you know, we are always kind of running. Okay, I guess we're just going to try and follow you. Maybe it's going to lead somewhere. Oh, this place wasn't open before, was it? I don't think it was. I don't remember this being open yesterday. Oh, cool. Okay, well, I'm just going to try and follow you. Oh, look at these. Oh, that's so cute. Everkin statues. I like it. Okay, I have a feeling you're leading me somewhere. I guess. Oh, Everkin Alley. Secret location discovered. Why not? I like this. Oh, and look at this little thing over here. What are you? Oh! You're skittish too. Oh. Oh, and what is this? It doesn't seem to be something I can do anything with. Yeah, I can't really use any tools or anything. As usual, I just want to see if I can hoard things. Uh, okay, well, let's see. Hey, get back here quickly, Friar. Follow that little sweetie. But shouldn't Friar observe all safety precautions before entering? No time! It's getting away! Uh, if you insist, follow the Everkin through the portal, Apprentice. Oh dear, we're just going to jump right through here. Uh, okay. Whee! Oh! <laughs> We have to press E, of course. <laughs> I just felt like I could just jump right through like that, right? Oh, look at that. Wow, sirs, you actually followed me through the portal. Ew, I'm glad all that cavorting worked. Oh, but where are my manners? Welcome to wherever, tree tender. Elderkin, the oldest and probably wisest of us everkin, really wants to meet you. You can find Elderkin in the middle of the village. Go down the path, veer left, then go straight. Then take a slight right and you'll be there. If you get lost, just follow that big glowing beam of light. I had a feeling that's where we would want to go. Ooh, ready to claim follow that Everkin. Oh, look at you. Ah, oh, you're so cute. And are you gonna... No, you're not gonna run away anymore. Look at you. And you just adorable. Aww. I like this. Actually, I'm wondering, is there any kind of, like, photo mode in this game? I am really noticed. Ooh, hide input hot. Oh, so I guess that's what you can do. And then go back, and no, it still shows everything, so that does not seem to do what I would like it to do. Mm, it is still hidden. Okay, well, we're just gonna leave it like that then. And, oh, I noticed, I note. oh, where did it go? I had a little 
it's oh here we go yes when we press escape i can actually bring this up i don't know t doesn't seem to work here it works when you're in your world one of these seeds we have planted then you can press uh, t to have this little pop-up that shows you something about how many plants and insects and stuff that apparently you want to have and then apparently here there's something similar but t doesn't work but you can press escape and then you can see it so apparently there's six quests by fish, 14 insects, and uh, so far we have found zero ever kits. Um, okay, so I guess we have to find some kits. Have you met with Elderkin yet? He might be full of ancient wisdom. Hmm. That's the only thing I'm kind of thinking a little bit, because now it's doing it again, but I don't know if it's a tutorial thing. I would like that they didn't have those pop-ups. Um, because it just feels like it's like pushing you forward all the time, instead of you just exploring in your own pace which is the general theme of the game you're supposed to just be able to run around and explore and do things uh just as much as you would like to and then there's these little pop-ups which is actually i'm not a fan of that um so i hope it's not going to keep up with that it would be nice if you could turn it off or something because um, uh, because i i like in this game you can actually uh, play however you want, take things in your own pace, you don't have to worry about suddenly passing out, it seems like, it's not like you have stamina or anything uh, to worry about, and um, you're not gonna fall asleep at a certain time, like in most of these, like, farm and life sims and such stuff, it's often like, okay, at 10 p.m. or midnight or something, you just pass out, so you're kind of always a little bit in a hurry, right? But in this game, you're supposed to just be able to play in your own pace, you can go to sleep when you want, you can save at any time, but these kind of pop-ups that I'm not really a fan of, which is sad because I really love everything else about the game, um, aside from a little bit of the, the wonky walking, uh, ooh, there's camera sway. Maybe let, let's try and turn that off. As you can see, there's a lot of different languages actually that you can use in this. If you um, don't want English, there's also different tool selection modes. I think I'm actually going to leave it. Um, hold time, require input to close. But, and then there's text print speed. But it doesn't seem like there's any option for that. I would absolutely love an option to turn off those little pop-ups because, yeah, don't really like that. Hello, little you. Anyway, let's get uh, let's get going. Let's get going here. Let's just explore a little bit. I know we're supposed to go over there, but okay. So the little creatures definitely don't like us. Oh, and some of them do. See, now we get that pop-up again. I don't really need anyone to keep telling me where I want to go or where I need to go. Okay, there's a cave over here. Oh, we're going to have to go and check that out. But look at all these little houses. Aren't they just adorable? Ah, And you have a little kind of a little walkway veranda thing. You can't really get onto the roof though, but it kind of looks like it had one there too. Oh, look at this. I really like that. It's so unique. With all these little houses. That is so cool. I love it. Oh, nice. Oh, look at this. And even up in the tree here, they can kind of get up and climb around. Of course, so that they can pick these fruits here. Oh, I love it. Okay, well, let's uh, let's do what we're being told. We need to go over here. So let's see if we can find the elderkin. This looks about right. Tree tender, you are here. It's been so long since we've had a bigling visit us in the wherever. It was the ever tree that called us back to Alaria. We heard it whispering. It said that hope still lingered in the heart of one of its children. And here you are. If you have questions, I'll help where I can. Ooh, I love it. Okay. We were the first youngling tribe sung into being. Thus, we were named after the source of our creation, the Evertree. We are, or were, the keepers of the Evertree's heart. As its keepers, we have always been able to communicate with the Evertree. But when the song shattered, the withering overwhelmed its heart. Before it went silent, it cried out to us one last time. It asked us to self save ourselves, to leave Alaria before it was too late. And then we heard the tree no more. We thought we had failed it. If you have question, oh, okay, yes. Uh, so the wherever, wherever is our home. 
it actually goes wherever we want. It's why we were able to leave when the withering took over, and when the Evertree called us back, it asked us to help you. We're very resourceful, you know. We have clever little hands, and we make good tools. Long ago, we helped your people build homes beneath the tree, but we haven't worked together in a long time. Ooh, let's ask about the Evertree. You visited the tree, have you not? The poor, poor Evertree. Its bows once held the seeds of creation. So proud it was of its interstellar offspring. Ah, but I have forgotten. Though your people hear its song, its words escape your ears. No matter, it heard you singing, tree tender. The song of my aura caused it to stir from its slumber. It recognized you as its child and it knew that you cared. So it called out to us, asked us to return, asked us to aid you. Oh, okay. It is said that the song came from truly ancient beings. It was their voices combined. They were very old, these beings, older than the Everkin, older than the tree. They planted the song in the Evertree's heart so that life would bloom across the universe. And we, in turn, yet add our voices to the harmony. We are all part of the song, you see. You are an Everhard alchemist, are you not? That makes you a tree tender. Your alchemy guild is the only one that ever truly cared for the Evertree, as well as the well-being of the worlds it held in its branches. The other guilds seemed focused on making things better, but only for themselves. You tree tenders understood that everything exists in equilibrium, that you only take what you need and in return that you give back. Your guild wasn't very popular, even back then. If, uh, okay, <laughs> don't need to read this all the time. To the Evertree, your people are the children of the song. We remember when the children first came to Alaria. The Evertree rejoiced that its song had been heard. In those days, we had a great relationship with your people. We worked together in harmony. We traded with them for what they needed. We helped build what became the foundations of their city. But as they learned to weave the song, they visited us less and less. Over time, the children of the song turned to alchemy more and more. The song provided for them and they continued to prosper. But the more they used the song, the more it began to change. In time, the harmony turned to discord. Rude, but yes, I'm very old and very wise. I've hated your people from the very beginning. Do you still work with that effusive flag on uh, cover top and that rustling roustabout book? I'm old enough to remember their pre predecessors, a cauldron and scroll. Their predecessors as well, for that matter. I found Jock and Carving to be truly down-to-earth characters, though that might be because they were entirely made of clay. Oh cool, I love these stories, this is so much fun. <laughs> we are all younglings, uh, younglings to the Evertree. All of us that were born from a song are younglings. We, the Everkin, are the oldest of the younglings. And the wisest, I would wager. <laughs> That's what you are. You are a bigling. All the other biglings like you are biglings too. Everything is a bigling next to an everkin. Hmm, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Okay, we're going to continue with our journey then. While you're here, some of my everkin might seek your assistance. Many have never seen a bigling before, so please indulge indulge them if you can but before you leave take these tools they're our gifts to you this is our way of supporting you on your journey tree tender oh bug net nice a gentle tool for catching bugs guaranteed not to harm the bugs oh and we got a fishing rod as well a fun tool for catching fish nice oh and look at the way it looks he fisherkin spends their time at the top of the waterfall Uh huh. This looks so pretty. I really like this. Catcherkin uh, stands exasperated in the grove. Bumpkin slumbers in the pasture. 
Wateringkin waits for aid in the melon field. You'll find Brokin flexing up on a hill. Oh, there's so many different ones. This is so cool. Chopkin prepares a soup near the mushroom pat patch. Finally, there is Kinderkin, who has seemed rather frazzled of late. Won't say a word to me. Maybe talking to an outsider will help. Go speak with them. Ooh. Ready to claim tools of the trade? Yes, okay. And ready to claim, talk to all the kin. When you're ready, exit back through the portal. Uh, well, I'm not really ready yet. We need to we need to do stuff, right? But let's just have a little look in here. Uh, yes, this is all the, the stuff we got. This um, sleepy roof decoration and wallpaper last time, right? Um... Mm -mm. Okay, so how was it? Oh, right, uh, that, was, that was a B. Let's go in here. So, we completed a Tools of the Trade. Though they're simple, plain tools, they'll be key in helping you restore the world. Treasure them and look after them, for they will serve you well. Oh, we got a hanging lamppost too. Nice. Okay, and then we open something. Oh, now we have a new section here. That is lovely. So exit wherever, then we'll complete that. Uh, we follow the Everkin. Let's find out what the Everkin are doing back on Alaria. Ooh, we got 20 warm essences. Uh, lovely. Then we talk to the Elderkin as well. Elderkin is the wisest of the Everkin. You should go speak with him. Well, we did that. And then we got a statue. Nice. Oh, look at this, and all the badges look different. I like that. Oh, we got a new one. So now we have to help out all these ones that the Elderkin mentioned. Um, I guess we don't have to do everything today. Um, but let's just try, go and see if we can find one of them, right? Uh, so I guess that's where all the, you can see all these li these screen indicators, uh, beams. So that, that's where we would have to go. Wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Some of them are sailing in a little... In a little rowboat. Ah, or canoe it is actually. Oh, I like this. <laughs> Look at you guys. You're so cute. Why do people always want to pet me? Is it my luxuriously furry tail? That could definitely be a reason. <laughs> Look out for Munchkin. They're adorable, yes, but they might still bite you. Oh, that's cool. So we can actually interact with all these different ones. That's so neat. Uh, let's go and try and see if we can find one that we can actually uh, do with something with this one or someone over here. Uh, or probably gonna wanna let have us watering all this stuff, right? This is going to be a very minor disaster if I don't get some assistance and soon. Oh, these sad, dusty melons wilting in the hot sun. Whatever can be done for them. They'll need water soon, or they're going to become whatever the raisin version of a watermelon is. Oh, that's not good. Is there a watermelon raisin? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Unless, of course, someone around here has the heart of a hero and a functional watering can. Someone like you? So, Bigling, what do you say? Are you the hero these melons have been waiting for? Yeah, of course. I'm watering kin. Moisture's my thing. We, um, we don't always get to choose our thing. May I shake your hand? No, I understand. It's a lonely gig being the moist everkin. Nobody ever lets you touch their suede, <laughs> sweet, or how do you pronounce that? I don't know. Or borrow a book or split a bag of potato chips. But I've got a duty to perform, darn it, and I'm gonna do it. I mean, look at these poor patched melons. I can't even call them watermelons right now. There's not enough water in them. They're, they're waterless melons. <laughs> Obviously, it falls to me, watering kin, the moisture everkin, to water them. Here's the problem. They're just too thirsty and my everkin can, can, my everkin can, <laughs> doesn't have the capacity to quench their thirst. But I see you here with that huge bickling can, and I've got a feeling it's got enough juice to get the job done. So take that watering can of yours and drench these dry melons. Give them a properly satisfying soak. Splash that wet stuff around. Hello? 
Ooh, okay. So, yes, we need to use our watering can. New quest. Uh, make sure the water soaks all the way in. Okay, well, let's just get going here. So that's what we are going to be doing. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at it grow. Look at it grow. Oh, what in the name of the ever tree has happened here? Those poor watermelons popped like overfilled balloons. I don't think anyone could have seen this coming, apart from the sea kin, that is. Well, Bigling, I'm afraid your watering can is simply too wet for an everkin plant. Maybe go water some Bigling-sized plants with that thing. You're a bit of a moist menace. Oh dear, you'd better get out of here for a while. I'll need some time to come up with an explanation for watermelon ownerkin. <laughs> oh no! Oh, we got a beige pointed felt hat. Uh, okay. Well, I don't feel like we really helped out that much. <laughs> But we completed the objective. Oh, man. Okay, that didn't turn out anyway the way I thought it would. Beige pointed felt had a fun new covering for your head. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. Oh, look at us. Don't we just look snazzy? I love it. I love it. We got ourselves a new hat. Cool. Oh, I'm liking this. Especially the fact that it turns out differently than you might expect. That just makes it even more fun. I want to see... Oh! Uh, okay. Oh, it's not one that we could kind of uh, pour into like the other one. Mm, okay. Well, I think it's going to be in the next video. We go back and check out on our um, our world seed. Yep, I think that's going to be the plan. We're gonna, not going to have time for that today. So let's see if we can help out this little one here. Huh? A bickling? Am I dreaming? Are you filled with caramel? No? Well, that's disappointing. I guess that means I still have to have work to do in the field. Ugh, I do. Look at all that long grass. Awful stuff. Hey, are you any good with a sickle? Because I've got a bunch of work I'd really rather not do today. What do you say, Bigling? Do you want to do my job for me? Well, sure. Okay, thank you. I'm bumpkin and farming's my thing. What I really like about farming is the sowing. Sowing's great. Planting seeds, an absolute delight. Now the reaping, reaping's the worst. Why I'd go to all that trouble burying those seeds if the grass is just gonna come back out of the ground, you know. <laughs> I'd much rather do nothing at all. But I guess I've gotta do something about all this everkin fodder. For one thing, it's extremely hard to plant more grass seeds when there are huge stalks of grass in the way. And I guess, if I have some bundles of fodder ready to go, I can give them to Milkin. And that'll finally get them off my back. The ever cows need their fodder bumpkin. Wah, wah, wah. Fodder for the ever cows. Boo hoo. That's how Milkin sounds. <laughs> so how about it? Can you reap this field for me? Use your sickle to cut this long grass, then bring me the bundles of fodder. Then I can be get back to my pro procrastinating. Oh boy, I wonder if we're gonna completely chop it into tiny pieces uh, if we try to do this, but I guess we're gonna give it a go. I am trying to be helpful. Let's hope it goes better than with the um, with the, the watermelons, right? Uh, here we go. Wonderful, thank you. You're pretty handy with that sickle. Now that someone else has reaped what I've sown, I can get back to doing more sowing or just more not reaping. Either way, my schedule's opened right now. Uh, oh, opened right up. Thanks a lot, Bigling. Oh, I only needed to do one? Oh, we got a rope bandana. Cool. Oh, that was easy. What if I do more of it? I can still do more of it, but uh, we don't really get anything out of it. I was just curious if it actually gave us something. It just pops right back up again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, but this is this is fun. This is fun. I'm liking this. Let's check this one out. Now we got a new one. Ah, look at that. It doesn't really work that well with this hair, though. Uh, but other than that, it is pretty cool. I just really like this. So I think we're going to switch. Oh, I didn't see what that pop-up was. But it is probably okay. Uh, let's have a little look around here. Uh, oh. Oh, right. We have a bucket net now. I forgot. Oh, where did it go? 
Oh, I got it. A chillax grub, common insect. It's wiggling, blah, 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 something, something. So where do insects go? Mm, oh, here. A chillax grub insect. Oh, what happens? Oh, oh, I clicked on it and now it says zero. Oh, I have it in my hand. Oh, look at that. Look at that little one. Oh, you're absolutely adorable. Let's just go over here a bit. Oh, look at this little one. <laughs> Oh, that is just so cute. I love it. Okay, so I can throw it. Uh, or I can... Okay, we're going to put it back in the backpack. Uh, for now, I assume we're supposed to collect some of our leaves. So, oh, that's so much fun. There's one more over here of a different type, I think. Or oh, is that the same type? Oh, no, I didn't get it. I'm not sure how I got the other one. Oh. <laughs> this is tricky. Whoop. Nope. Oh, boy. I actually feel a little bit bad about this. Oh, look at this little one. <gasps> There's a flying one. Oh. Okay. Is there a specific trick to this? It doesn't really feel like I can run faster or anything. So, uh, do I have to, like, can I sneak? No? Hmm. Okay, that is really tricky. It feels like the other one was very far away, but I still caught it, the first one. What are all these little... What are these things? Oh, uh, what happens if I jump into this? Oh, nice! Oh, but I completely failed at that, but still, we got... <laughs> uh, okay, so that brought me all the way back to here. So how do I get over to the other one? Okay, I'm getting completely distracted now, but... Oh, look at this. Okay, let's just go back to hands, and then we're gonna try this, and then... Can we get over to the other one somehow? How do I... No? Oh, but I got a little bit further, so I didn't end up in the water. That's good. Nice. I like it. And I cut down trees. Is that a thing? No, nope, that doesn't seem to be a thing. If you can't do anything, it just... She just does that little action when you're trying to use a tool. And there are some chests and stuff, but it doesn't really seem like I can... Oh, I can! Of course, I just have to press inter E for interact. Okay, the one down in the water I don't think we're going to get because... Uh, oh, can I get it? There we go. Yes. Oh, let's try and get them before they... Because then we're just going to end up... Well, I guess maybe we'll just end up here where we are now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see where we end up. Oh, it brings me all the way over here. When you've finished exploring the wherever, you should re return to your tasks in the other tree. It's what the tree would want. Well, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I am just enjoying myself here. Don't rush me along, please. <laughs> uh, whoop. No, I didn't get it. Oh, man. Okay, that's not working. Nope. Okay, that did not work at all. Was this the one we were... I think this is the one we were at. Mm, I kind of wanted to finish exploring that. So let's see if we can... Whee! Get over there. Can I get over to the other one? Ooh, yes. Okay, you definitely have to try and get as fast as possible. Okay, so there's also those little ones out here. And then we have another place here that can let us go. Can we go up? Anything up top here? There's a little bug. Mm. Uh, there's another little one here. But, oh man, that is really tricky. Oh, sneak! You have to left click and hold it down and then let go to swing. I hadn't looked at the, um, the little tooltips in the bottom right there. So that's how we're supposed to do it. I'm just running after things. <laughs> trying to press C and control and all kinds of things to sneak. And then I'm just supposed to do this. Aha. Okay. But I think I scared away everything. Oh no, I did that again. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at that. Okay. Okay. Well, this is fun. Man, I'm loving this. This is so much fun, guys. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is where we came from, of course. This is our portal, so we can exit it again. Well, I don't really want to do that. Let's see if we can... Let's try and sneak up on this one. 
Oh, we got a comb bug. It's wiggling and jiggling and tickling inside your inventory. <gasps> look at that. Let's have a little look at it. Oh, look at that. Isn't it cute? Ah, uh, I'm just going to hang on to them because I don't really know what we can do with them. But we can t clearly catch bugs, right? So we're just going to keep them uh, until we find out what we can actually do with them. But that's so much fun. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Is there another one sitting over here? Mm. Try and sneak up on you. Oh, we got a rich wriggler. Oh, nice. Let's take a look at you. Oh, and it's green. Oh, I think it's like an upgraded version of this or a more rare one, maybe. Because it's green, right? Look at you. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> I love it. Ah, this is just amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, well, we are going to try and help out some of these guys next time and then definitely go and check out our world. We're going to have to do that. But I do like that I can just kind of do it in my own pace. Except for this. <laughs> Uh, if you guys have played this and you know of any way that you can turn off these little pop-ups, please let me know because I don't really like that. But aside from that, it is really, really relax relaxing and you can, of course, just enjoy or ignore the pop-ups. But it is a little like, okay, come on, you have to do this next thing. No, I just want to explore and relax and enjoy the scenery and catch bugs and, you know, do things in my own pace. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think about the game so far. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. And as always, uh, do take care and happy gaming.